Good evening, this is Demont Stith with Austin Warrior Arts and Guild of the Silent Sword. Um, it's been about two weeks now, and um, I have all the names of the contestants for our second round giveaway. And we'll be going through that in just a moment. I just wanted to take a moment to um, put myself out there and say that um, we've been, over the past five years, building a pretty strong community here in Austin, Texas. And I have a pretty decent group of um, you know, loyal um, students and friends and a lot of community support here uh, with the work that I'm doing. And I wanted to now extend that work you know, beyond you know, my city, beyond my, my community, and invite anyone out there who is interested in learning more about um, African battlefield arts, um, to to come and uh, train with us. Um, I'm hoping to create study groups and um, share the information that I have, and also to encourage people to you know use the model of experimental archaeology, use the model that Hema uh, uh, Hema uses to um, reconstruct and test some of their their theories, and let's use some of these these ideas to help reconstruct and recover you know, lost African fighting traditions. Um, if there's anybody who's interested in forming a study group in their area, uh, please personal message me or um, email me or however you feel comfortable getting in contact with me. Uh, please do so. Um, mainly my group, my group here in Austin, we deal with, um, we cover uh, three basic areas as far as African fighting arts are concerned. Uh, we deal with the Nile Valley, the ancient Nile Valley, um, where we, you know, reconstruct, you know, ancient Egyptian fighting uh, based off of um, wall paintings and based off of living traditions that are practiced in uh, ancient in, in modern day Egypt and in Sudan, um, as well as a comparative study with other living traditions practiced on in other parts of the con in other other parts of the continent. Um, which help us with this with um, reconstructing. Uh, that's the one one aspect we deal with. Second aspect it would be the um, medieval arts, which medieval isn't necessarily the, the, the best term to describe the um, the uh, this period of time since uh, I guess Africa didn't really go through a a Middle Ages per se, but it you know using medieval kind of helps to uh, that helps it to helps to kind of I guess ground it in a time period where people are mostly understand. So when I say medieval, the people in, in your mind you're saying okay, swords, horses, you know, castles, blah blah blah. So same period except wasn't necessarily the Middle Ages for Af Middle Ages for Africa, but um, medieval Africa uh, dealing with the you know the ancient kingdoms of the Sahel, kingdoms of the Sahel and Sudan. And when I say Sudan, I don't just mean where modern Sudan is today. Uh, Sudan is an Arabic term and it refers to the lands, the, uh, lands of the blacks. It's Biliad as Sudan in Arabic. So that is that corridor. Um, uh, well, the Sahel technically is, a, is an area directly south of the Sahara Desert, um, semi-arid. Um, and then just to the south of that, sometimes Sahel and Sudan are used kind of interchangeably. But it just refers to the kingdom south of the Sahara, but um, could be um, referring to the kingdoms of the forest area. So like north of the forest area, south of the, of the Sahara, that belt from West Africa all the way across to the east. I mean, really anything south, what, what the Arabs were saying, anything south of the, of the Sahara at the time was considered the Sudan. But... Um, when I'm thinking of the Sudanic kingdoms, I'm thinking of the the kingdoms of the grasslands that were the savannas and the grasslands that you know fought from on horseback um, because the land was allowed them to do so because there was no um, Tessie fly which would have um, made uh, um, maintaining a large cavalry force impossible, which is why in many of the forest kingdoms you the the horse didn't have the same kind of impact you know because it was the testy fly made it almost impossible for them to to maintain a a, a cavalry arm 
So when I say Sudan, that's what I'm thinking of is those those nations that were able to maintain a cavalry arm just north of the of the forest belt. Um, anyhow, so we deal with those areas and we deal with the kingdoms of the of the forest belt as well. But mostly my focus is on the Sahel and Sudan um, from east to west. Um, and then the third uh, focus for my group here in Austin would be the conduct the colonial arts that were brought over during the slave trade. And that's like, you know, your Colombian machete fighting, uh, Kalinda stick fighting, uh, tier machete, this is a Haitian style of machete and stick fighting, uh, capoeira. These are all, you know, colonial arts that were brought to the, to the new world by um, enslaved Africans. So we focus on those three areas, but um, as a group, um, I have a few guys kind of um, that are that are, you know, that you know raise their banners and they're ready to go and you know build build this this idea of Hama, this historical African martial arts. I guess I would say Hama, um, and you know, our areas of of study will be. Uh, ancient Egypt, the ancient Nile Valley, it'll be the Sudanic kingdoms, um, the uh, forest land kingdoms of the Yoruba and the Benin, and um, I think there was another area that we had decided. But if you're interested in learning more about these regions, or if you have a region in particular that you have that you would like to focus on, this is an open door policy. Um, as long as you know you do good work, you're humble, got a good work ethic, and you know you want to move everything, move things forward, then uh, we invite you to come and um, train with us, be a part of what we're doing. Um, it doesn't matter like what you look like, what your your color, or your your race, your creed is. My group is very mixed. Um, I do have a strong you know African American presence in my group. But I also have a very diverse group of people um, that train with me and are interested in African arts, and it's just the way of the world. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, you don't have to look like me to to train with me and to be interested in African arts. And if you are, wonderful. We invite you. Just like I said, send me an an email or a personal message or contact me somehow, and we can get you started. Okay, let's get on to the giveaway. I know you guys have been sitting through me. Um, talking and stumbling and bumbling here so I have the magic red bowl with all the names and just a reminder if you are in if you're outside of the United States I am not able to ship to you unfortunately um, two options for you guys I can uh, send you a gift card uh, Amazon gift card or give you an Amazon credit or something like that or if you're willing to help me with the shipping pay and I feel bad asking you guys to do this so totally if you if you want to just get the Amazon cart then that's fine with me but if you really really want the sword then we can uh, maybe figure out what the shipping is and then we can do half like you pay half I'll pay the other half and we'll get it to you and um, like, I'm sorry I'm still working and trying to figure out how to ship efficiently ship overseas I'm just not at that point right now guys. so anyhow let's mix it up Let's see who is the winner. All right, I have one. I have one. Uh oh. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna mess your name up. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm gonna do my best and uh, give this a try. So, the winner for our second round. Uh, giveaway is Shu Quaxel. Tell me if I'm pronouncing that right. Shh, here we are. Shu Quaxel. Anyhow, contact me, Shu, and um, yeah, you the owner of a pretty cool Kopesh training sword made by Street Forge Armory, which is a group that's connected with us. And if you guys like what I do, please uh, subscribe and like and, um, you know, purchase a sword or something. It helps us keep going or support us on Patreon. It also helps us keep going or join, become a starter study group and 
every little bit counts. Thank you guys for listening and giving me lots of um, positive feedback and good energy. And um, yeah, we'll be in touch. Thank you.